All right, I suspect this will be the only time this kind of video can be taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, so I finally organized my Ultra Magnus collection enough <laughs> to do this. Um, apparently I have 29 complete inbox Ultra Magnus, uh, G1, you know, from 1986. Uh, complete as defined by the toys all there, the box, uh, and styrofoam and <laughs> varying conditions are there and they have the instructions. Um, technically my second gig and my second Takara, uh, Takara, um, ones, uh, don't have the instructions in them, but I've got two extra English ones here. <laughs> so that is 29, uh, complete inbox toys with instructions. Um, almost everything over here also has <clears throat> the, uh, correct paperwork. Um, the European Milton Bradley one, I think I need to add, um, something, uh, too. Um, and then most of them have sticker sheets as well, but half of them are used, half aren't. There are uh, my sealed ones. It's a um, U.S. made in Japan box, AFA 80, and then a worse condition <laughs> U.S. poster box. Um, these are the 11 I plan to sell. The rest of these are to keep. Um, this is part of the project I've been working on for a couple of years. Uh, first, I had to identify all of the box variants, which no one seems to have done before. Uh, so we've got the normal U.S. Um, made in Japan box right here. This is the made in Macau version. We've got the Italian gig. Uh, box. This is the Made in Macau version. Uh, you would go to see that on the lower back. There's the U.S. poster box. And then I'll copy that. Uh, here is the Canadian uh, Made in Macau box. Here's the Canadian Made in Macau poster box. Uh, this is another U.S. Uh, made in Japan box. Uh, so is that. So is that. Oh, maybe as well. Uh, Let's see, this is the French Made in Japan box. This is the Gig Macau box. This is the rarest of them, the, uh, the Milton Bradley box. Uh, this one's the European Double R box. See, it's got the R symbols, right? Two of them right there instead of this one. But apparently Heroic Autobot <clears throat> was trademarked over there. Uh, several U.S. poster boxes. Uh, several U.S. made in Japan box. Uh, at least one U.S. made in Macau box. This is my... I need to put this stuff together. Uh, loose stuff. Um... These are the components I will do that with. Heads, guns, waist plates, chest plates, large fist. I'm almost out of missiles over here though. Wait, no, that's over here. Um, small fist and launchers. There's my Diaclone Power Convoy stuff. There's the last two boxes I have and they are just a food bar. And here are all the reissue variants. <clears throat> Got your shining one, your diaclone color, normal 15th anniversary. Got the 2012 Collectors Club English back. Behind it is the uh, non English back. 
Here's the 2012 Collector's Edition Euro box, multi-language, the normal uh, first US citizens one. <clears throat> so yeah, that is the most complete, comprehensive, probably the only com thing capable, capable of being called complete as far as uh, Ultra Magnus G1 collection. So yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 complete in box with instructions, toy totally to complete, box and styrofoams, Ultra Magnus, two completely destroyed boxes, couple completely destroyed trailers, lots of trailers and cabs, lots of individual components. Now I get to do all this for for my Optimus Primes of similar quantity, um, and start getting rid of extras because I need to clean my room. All right, hope at least one person watched this.